What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode with... Costella. Costella. <laughs> Today, we're going to be giving you uh, the six-month update on the pup. Um, we're going to talk about the Frenchie, what we've learned. There's a lot of things that we learned from the original video when she was a puppy. Some of the things that we were doing wrong that we didn't uh, know. And some of the things that we're doing right. So there's a lot of things about Frenchies that we haven't experienced it. So just all going to be based on how you take care of the puppy. But before we continue, I want to give a shout out to the wifey for the drip. Always keeping me fresh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, bird. Welcome. Let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. Here I am with this little hyper girl here. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the change in her diet. Um, so now we're feeding her Royal Canine. This is an amazing brand. As you can see, it's specific to Frenchies. They also have them specific to other breeds as well. So it's very specific to the type of diet that they need, what's better for their coat, their digestive system, and stuff like that. This prime base is chicken. does really well with it. Um, so we're super happy about the change in her diet. She's eating adult food now and she's not having any problems even though she's still considered a puppy. So that's good to know. So next, uh, we'll talk about Dine a little bit more. We did mention this in the previous video. We continue to give her this, uh, I guess it's like a supplement for dogs here. So it's vanilla flavored and it's to encourage consumption. It's to help with calorie intake. It also helps with performance. She is a stubby little... Frenchy, uh, but you know, it does help for overall health. Um, it's kind of like vitamins as well. Um, we've noticed that she heals from things really quickly. She has a very strong immune system from, you know, little rashes to um, an infection she had on her cheek from just playing too hard. So we definitely think this plays a big role in her health. So we continue to give her this every single day um, with her morning meal. Oh, puppies. All right. So Previously, we mentioned that we were giving her extra virgin olive oil. What? Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> it was coconut oil. <laughs> and, you know, to help with her coat and stuff like that. But, since speaking with a Frenchie specialist, she actually recommended that we switch her oils. So we are now doing Omega Plus fish oil for her dogs. So, just a half a teaspoon in her food, uh, just like we were doing with the, the coconut oil. This has made a huge difference in her coat like if her coat wasn't beautiful before it's freaking amazing now very shiny at all times especially after a bath very full she loves it she loves the the flavor so see here it says promotes healthy skin and shiny coat and it definitely does all right guys so these greenies here are amazing we continue to implement this in her everyday routine it's basically a snack that brushes her teeth cleaner teeth, fresher breath, and tail wagging flavor. So basically, you know, you can use them as a treat. She gets her regular dentist checkups and they look amazing. They never have any complaints back on what we should change. I love them. I don't really believe that you have to necessarily brush a dog's teeth with a toothbrush. Well, not ours. She's not, she's not a uh, huge hyper dog or anything. So she's pretty mellow. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how I've trained Future. These snacks are pretty cool. I like them because they're all natural. Uh, peanut butter based. Um, here they have like different type of um, healthy ingredients too. Carrots, oats, peanuts. She loves them. You know, just like with any dog guys, the majority of dogs are food driven and either way they love to feel good. They love to get attention from you. Having treats is going to be a way to get their attention, praising them or, you know, giving them commands as far as whether they're doing good or not. You get the reaction that you want from your pup. But I will say this is going to literally make it 90% um, easier than it would without a snack. Another thing that I wanted to touch base on was uh, the stigma behind Frenchies having a lot of allergies. We haven't noticed any problems with her. We talked to her vet and she mentioned it's actually a myth. Um, so we just believe if you care for your uh, dog, you pay attention to her special needs, her reactions to food and stuff like that. She, they're not more allergic than any other dog. So any other dog, just like humans, can have an allergy. It's not because of the brood, but definitely pay attention to, like I said, any, any type of reactions from your dog specifically. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with, with the fun. Come, future. Good girl, sis. Good girl, mama. Okay. High five. Good girl, Paul. Good girl, you're doing so good. Okay, down, down, down. Good girl, mamas. Jump, jump. Good girl. All right, guys, so that concludes another episode with... Kosala. 
With that being said, we're gonna give you more life updates. Please comment below, let us know what else you wanna learn about the puppy. Uh, I definitely recommend you getting a Frenchie, especially if you uh, don't have that, if you're not an energetic person, but you want that company, it's the perfect dog. It doesn't bark, it's real mellow, it's real chill. She does turn up uh, when people are around, but other than that, very easy to maintain, doesn't even bark. Like I've heard the dog bark maybe twice in seven months. With that being said, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Till next time, peace.